Imagine being able to live inside your car and go anywhere you wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna be moving into this car and living here and traveling at the same time. I still don't really know where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna be living inside of this car and sleeping inside of it. Bro, leaving my driveway to go live on the road is crazy. So since I'm gonna be living inside of my car now and I already am, I guess it's time for a grand tour of my my house. So when it comes to the car, it may look like just a basic Honda Civic, but there's a catch because it's a Honda Civic SI, meaning it's a manual, has slightly bigger engine, and it's just a lot cooler than the standard Civic. Um, that's about it for car. Now behind this door is the master bedroom, the living room, every sort of room you can think of, except for like the bathroom because um, that's kind of sketchy. I'm gonna be living inside of here. So yeah, this is my house. I guess it's time to get back onto the road. But guys, it's time to stop messing about and let's get out of the state of Florida. Anyway, one of my first stops was to stop and get gas, and this is how much it cost to fill up my car. So about one hour in, as you can see from the sign I just drove past, I'm already out of the state of Florida. All right, so guys, like I said, I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. I'm probably gonna test out a few things every night. So after driving for a while, I saw a cotton field and I was already getting pretty tired of driving. So at this point, I've already been on the road for five hours, so I started looking for a place to sleep, and I considered Walmart, but it seemed a little too early in the day for me to start setting up camp somewhere. Bro, the sun is finally setting. It's almost fully set. I'd say we probably got about 30 more minutes of daylight, which is fine. Hey guys, I'm at a very special place. I'm gonna figure out where I ended up at, I think I'm gonna sleep or try sleeping at the place where I'm at right now, which is Bucky's. Yup, I went to Bucky's and I parked right next to some Tesla chargers because I thought it might be a safer place for the night. But I kept having a bunch of employees walk past my car. Guys, so I moved to a different spot of the parking lot of Bucky's. So I'm in a way different location that doesn't seem to be getting much traffic and i got the whole setup i laid out the bed and everything i'm probably actually gonna go to bed for real guys so it's about 6 30 i really i slept actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie it's it's just it's freezing right now this back windshield is starting to freeze So guys, I've been sitting with the heat on for a while. I'm waiting for my jacket to thaw out and I'm about to get on the road soon. Bro, why is the sky so pink? So after staying the night at Bucky's, I filled up my car with petrol and then I jumped straight into some Monday morning traffic. Bro is in a tiny lane. At least I could talk to you guys while driving in this traffic. It's, it's backed up because there's just a wreck up there. So the city that I'm visiting isn't really anything significant. I'm mostly just visiting it because I headed north and it's north. We're getting to, I see buildings. <laughs> I see buildings. Once I made it into the city, I left my mobile home and got in a really slow electric scooter. I'm gonna have to test how much it costs to ride these things, but I was trying to go get a nice view of the city because the city I'm in is the lost city of Atlanta, baby. Look at all these buildings. Also, can somebody please explain to me what these buildings are? They look so weird. Guys, I need to stop riding for a second to let my hands thaw out, because they're literally frozen right now. Guys, so here's proof that it's actually cold. Guys, we're gonna try a new scooter. Holy cow, guys, this one is way faster. Watch this. All right, this is one-handed, so it's a little sketch. Oh, whoa. And we're accelerating pretty fast. <laughs> Living in my car, day two. We're hanging in there. We're in Atlanta. I've been here for about two hours. I rode some scooters, froze my hands. 
I'm about to go find some food, I think. So I went and got coffee and I also got something else. Guys, I get a parking violation and I was parked here for like 10 minutes. And I asked the lady, is everyone gonna get these? Because there's a ton of people parked here. And she's like, no, just you. Well guys, I believe it is time to leave Atlanta. I don't know what this modern architecture is. I think they tried to like recreate the stone hinge or something and they ended up with this. It's time to get my home back on the road, as it were. Yeah, cause I'm leaving Atlanta. Bro, Atlanta is massive. Every time I think I'm out of Atlanta, there's more tall buildings. All right guys, so I know this soundtrack hits different, but that's besides the point. I'm heading towards the largest waterfall in Georgia. And that's all the information I'm pulling up with. Holy cow, I've never been up a hill this steep. All right, so I made it to the very special location and before I see the waterfall, I gotta climb a mountain. So I decided to take the longest route up. The only thing I'm noticing right now, kind of bottom of the trail, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Looks like this is the right way. I didn't realize how starving I was when I was in the car. I think I might just be noticing because I'm walking and climbing. You know what? The human body can go 30 days without eating, so I'm gonna be fine. Guys, I've come a long way. I keep having to take breaks. I want to drink some of that water from the waterfall. Whoever built these stairs going up the mountain is a straight up madman. Y'all think I'm crazy for living in a car? Try building all these stairs. But I digress. So after a lot of climbing, I made it to the first view of the waterfall. Guys, after that um, waterfall, there's still more mountains to be climbed because there's the top of it. So I made it to the very top of the mountain, or at least the highest. Guys, this view is crazy. We're gonna get ourselves down this mountain. I'm on my way to a town that is somewhat familiar to me because I've been there before on the road again. Oh, hey. I made it to a small town, a pretty small town. More on that tomorrow, you'll get to see exactly where I'm at. I found out where we're sleeping tonight, and it's a little risky. It's outside of a hotel in their parking lot. And I even had permission to stay at this hotel. I asked the guy inside and he told me that it's not a busy night, it's a weeknight and there's gonna be a bunch of empty spaces. So it's okay if I stayed in the parking lot. However, he did tell me not to let PD see me in there. I wish I could kind of like block off the windows a little bit. So I'm a little less visible, but I think I'll be fine. No cop is gonna be looking inside. I, I literally have permission, so. Bruh, there's so much ice on my car. Good morning, sleepyheads. I have to come clean to you guys about something. I actually did attempt sleeping in here last night, but it was literally too cold for me to sleep in here. Like, it would have been impossible to fall asleep, and if I did fall asleep, I probably would have got hyperthermia and died because it was 18 degrees outside last night. But it's time for you guys to see what town we're in because last night when I got here, I, was, I hung out in the town for a little, but I didn't want to record much because it was like dark and everything. All right guys, so I just found out that I'm 315 miles away from home. I'm in a very tourist heavy town. It's pretty early in the morning, so there's not a lot of people around. Um, and it's also really freezing, but the town that I am in is Helen, Georgia, which is a town where all the buildings were designed to have some sort of like German Bavarian look, apparently. Even the McDonald's. Holy cow, there's so many. I mean, they're not keys, they're locks. Look at all these locks. Casey and Cody. I hear if it's um, the water's flowing, it's safe to um, swim inside, not swim inside of it, it's safe to drink from. So it might be time to go get some water. Bro, so, someone threw a penny in here. They thought this was for making a wish. I bet Ryan Trahan could take that penny down there and turn it into a house. It's so cold. 
But yeah, this is a very nice town. I like it a lot. I don't think I'm gonna stay here too long, I, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna be heading afterwards. I know if I just go straight up north, I'd end up in Tennessee or North Carolina. If I plan on sleeping in my car tonight, I don't. I need to stop heading north because it's just gonna get colder and colder. But we're definitely sleeping in my car tonight. I'll figure out where I'm going because right now I don't really know. It's kind of suspenseful for you and me because I don't know where I'm going. Bro, the bananas I bought from Walmart froze. That would have been me if I tried to sleep in there. Bro, that's how you can tell it's pretty cold. That cold start was decently loud. Um, I came to this town because it was pretty close to that waterfall I went to yesterday. Dang, my engine's still cold. I guess I'll let it warm up a little. My steering wheel's freezing! So after making it out of the small town that I was in, I realized my car needs gas, and I was in the middle of all these mountains. All right, guys, so we did end up finding a gas station out in the middle of the um, the wild, as it were. It was a close call. I had 20 miles on the tank. All right, guys, so day three of living in my car, we just crossed into North Carolina. Finally, this whole video, I've been in um, Georgia. This is what it's all about. North Carolina, baby. All right, guys, so I stopped at like an outlook of like mountains and stuff. And look at this view. So I'm sitting in the back of my car for a little. I'm just gonna chill here for a second. I need to figure out where I'm gonna go because I'm not sure where I'm headed right now. I just know there's a pretty nice view of the mountains. All right, guys, so I've been stopped here for about 30 minutes. I've been planning and figure out where I'm gonna be going next, but I guess it's time to get back onto the road. It's nice to have a really smooth, wide road on these mountains. It's a lot str it's a lot um, less sketchy driving. Especially on the narrow ones, people would get right behind you and expect you to go, what the heck, Tennessee? We're in Tennessee now. Woo, yeah baby, we're in Tennessee. Didn't really get to experience um, North Carolina very long. It was very short lived. All right guys, so it turns out, um, Tennessee was short-lived. I'm back in North Carolina already. There's a cemetery. All right guys, so I've been driving for the better part of like three hours. I've traveled a lot more Southeast today. I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight, which is sketchy. So I filled up on petrol and then I found where I'm gonna be staying. Guys, I'm not sure if I like this video anymore. Uh, living in a car is not that much fun. I'm at a random truck stop where I might be sleeping tonight. So I went inside to scope out the area and when I came outside, something had gone awry. Bro. Why is the, why was my car's horn going? All right, so my car's horn was going off for some silly reason, I don't know why. So I got two blankets, one pillow, and one destiny. All right, guys, I'm being very not stealthy with like the flashlight and everything, but I'm pretty cozy in here. But I'm gonna try to fall asleep here in a little. There's a dude out walking his dog. I wish I had a dog with me. guys so i slept till 5 30 ish or five o'clock i got up like 30 minutes ago i was just right now i'm warming up my car and it is freezing i don't know how i managed to sleep in here guys so i didn't realize there's ice on the inside like look at this bro all right guys i'm about to get on the road i'll update you guys very soon i'm pretty close to the destination that i'm heading so I made it to the city and I found a place to park where I'm not going to get a parking ticket. Guys, so it is day four of living in my car. I came down out of South Carolina into this city, which is Savannah, Georgia, baby. Bro, this globe is not real. There is no continent that is this big in landmass. 
So I went inside of a very overrated coffee place, and it's a good thing I did because I found a map. So I can give you guys a quick rundown of where we've been so far. Guys, this is my second time ever having Starbucks. And I'm glad I went in there because I almost didn't go there. Um, I'm glad I went there because I saw the map and we got to do that really awesome demonstration. Oh, that Starbucks is eh, it's pretty mid to be honest. But it's time to get back onto the road because we're going somewhere very special. So the place I'm heading is a place I decided to go to last night while I was sleeping in my car. I just pulled onto my road, which means I'm almost home. On the road for four days. So why is something in my eye? I promise I'm not crying. Well, I'm home. I could honestly make another video like this if y'all want me to. Anyway, this is not Infernox. Over and out.